Hello everyone, my name is Amit Singh and I am the Cisco Solutions Engineer for Unified Communications working for uh, Cisco Gold Partner in Europe and uh, I'm about to present or I will be presenting the Cisco Collaboration Learning Series uh, with you all. Basically, uh, the motive behind is uh, I have been working with uh, Cisco collaboration product since last eight years and uh, this is why I have decided now to start a collaboration learning series video so it's 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 like an interactive uh, learning series wherein I would be presenting my knowledge here and would try to also get some feedback from you all so that I understand if there is anything that I could improve on my side as well all right so my main focus while presenting this collaboration series would be on cisco unified communications manager cisco unified communications manager imn presence cisco unity connection cisco meeting server telepresence uh, management suite expressway c expressway h so it's expressway control and expressway h Cisco Unified Border Element for the Voice Gateways, ISR 4000 Routers for Voice Gateways, Prime Collaboration Provisioning. Um, I would like to do this at the end. Uh, it's it's like a provisioning tool for the users wherein you can provision the devices or, or users or provision the services to the users and everything. So it's like a MACD kind of change day two operation and that you could do using this prime collaboration deployment then prime collaboration deployment and prime collaboration deployment basically would be used for installation of a new cluster or migration of a new uh, migration of a cluster or if you would like to do an upgrade task uh, so or if you would like to restart a server for example so we could use this prime collaboration deployment so i would be showing you guys um, the different uh, activities that you could do using this prime collaboration deployment in my later videos the prime license manager which is the current um, license management server or application system uh, until 11.x version 11.x while csr 11.x while starting or csr version 12.0 we have um, I'm sorry, uh, we have uh, Cisco Smart Software Manager. Uh, you know this already, so we need to have smart accounts to manage the licenses, register the devices, and take care of the licenses in that direction. All right, I forgot to tell you at the start um, that this video would be much helpful for uh, the people who are trying to uh, learn about what needs to be done or uh, when, when we would like to start with a new installation for a customer let's say for example or if I have an upgrade activity for a customer what should I start with um, even if I start thinking about it what should be the first step and so forth so it's not for the experts who have already been doing migrations and installations um, but people who are really keen to understand about this installation migration upgrade tasks would uh, for them it would be really helpful um, but in future i would be uh, also doing a lot of videos about the uh, new feature configurations but that would be uh, that is still in a pipeline and uh, i would be releasing or i would be recording one video a month so this is this is currently what i have planned and to, to uh, because of uh, shortage of timing but uh, <laughs> i would try to uh, accommodate as much as videos as possible all right and i would be more than happy for your um, suggestions or in the comments uh, you know how can i improve my videos my presentations uh, um, if, if 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 it's needed so uh, yeah looking forward to great get some good feedback from you guys about my collaboration learning series videos all right so yeah if possible i would also be focusing on webex um, let me see how it how can i how i can accommodate uh, in my lab i'm sorry 
the next thing what tasks will i be doing i told about the components that i would be focusing on the tasks that i would be doing is the first of all the first task that we would be understanding is the compatibility matrix so cisco has a lot of documents about compatibility matrix for the hardwares and the softwares so i would like to present uh, or to guys who do not know as to how do you read the compatibility matrix you know um, to understand uh, what hardware do i need what software do i need and what kind of hardware is compatible with my software and my existing devices and everything so i would be talking about that maybe a short five to ten minutes video on that and uh, how do you choose then the software and hardware for a particular organization or for a particular number of users so i would be talking a little bit more on that as well so a bit more deep dive you can say you know referring to uh, the cisco's uh, documents about um, this uh, compatibility matrix then i would be talking about the pre-installation task which is really really very important a lot of times people neglect that and then they get into trouble about how do you uh, you know my installation is not working my upgrade is not working i'm stuck here and there and uh, i need to open a tech case and then i spend a lot of time about that so i would also be talking about this pre-installation tasks which are really really very important sorry then i would also be talking about understanding the application version specific readme files let's say for example you need to deploy a virtual machine for unified communications manager application yeah but before this you need to really read uh, you know before deploying this ova file you ne really need to read this readme file because they have very important informations as to how do you deploy this ova file and what are the hardware requirements for this ova and what needs to be changed on the virtual machine um, hardware so let's say if if there is any change on the network adapter or if there is any change on the operating system you know so it's, it's really very important to understand this so i would really be referring to those readme files and then try to also implement those things on the virtual machines to help you understand how it works because i tried to find uh, videos about this but i didn't really find the videos on, on youtube or somewhere so i have a document yeah for sure but not the videos so i would really like to show you how you can implement those stuffs on the virtual machines all right what would be the next tasks that i would be talking about or maybe i would be showing you in my videos is uh, to understand different methods of uh, installation so call manager installation different methods you can do a manual installation of unified communications manager or you can use prime collaboration deployment for the installation or you can do a touchless installation where you do not need to enter all the network informations while doing the installation you know so there are different different ways where when you can you know, install the unified communications managers i would be showing all of them here one by one and then i would be doing some deep dive sessions about installation tasks or CUCM and then the integration of uh, different applications like Unity Connection, Expressway, and CMS. I know that there are a lot of videos already around, but uh, I would like to wrap up what I have already started. Like I have already started with the virtual machine configuration and uh, pre pre installation tasks and everything. So I would like to wrap up with the installation as well, so that you have a complete video. Um, around just one uh, series you know you do not have to refer to a lot of other videos and say okay i have referred the pre-installation tasks here configuration task here and then setup task in the other video so it, i would like to you know go step by step so that you know what needs to be done from step zero until step 10 for example yep and then uh, yeah then at, at the end i would also like to talk about the application specific licensing how do you apply the licenses for different applications for unified communications manager for vcs expressways or expressway c and e for example 
how do you apply the licenses so I would also be talking about that maybe I would not be able to provide you all the informations but uh, I would try to show you as much as possible about that all right um, this is what currently I wanted to uh, let you know that I would be starting this collaboration learning series and please do provide me a feedback um, if if the if if you feel that everything's fine uh, or if there is any area of improvement or anything in my from my next videos onwards of course um, here you can only point point out I know that if the video quality is not right or I am too fast or if you do not understand me what I'm talking about or something please do give me a feedback and from next videos onwards we will really deep dive into the technical informations about the collaboration deployments related to Cisco until then thank you very much